Now, the official Sun Coast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. So current conditions outside 77 degrees, 73 degree dew point. Southeast wind coming in at about 11 is not too terribly bad. Though Becky in Mayaka, or excuse me, Morgan Lee in Bradenton reports it being a little breezy at her house. Also, she picked up seven and a quarter inches of rainfall at her house yesterday. Becky in Old Mayaka got four inches of rainfall. And again today, we could see some fairly good downpours of rain coming as we head into the second half of the afternoon and into the evening hours. Here's what's going on currently. Not a lot of heavy rainfall across the region, certainly nothing like it was yesterday, but we do have some showers and some moderate rain falling across Anna Maria Holmes Beach down through Upper Longboat Key, as we mentioned we might earlier in the broadcast. And plus, further out uh, between uh, Manatee and uh, Hardy Counties, we have along 64 some showers and uh, occasionally some moderate rain moving across the roadway there. So, if you're traveling, to or from those areas, you'll want to be aware of that. Otherwise, this is what we wait for. Big storms out in Gulf waters all surrounding Hermine. These showers and thunderstorms in the last few frames, you'll notice, kind of take a little bit more of an easterly turn. And the reason for that is that the storm system itself has now started taking a little bit more of an easterly turn, beginning that hook back toward the northern Gulf Coast. Now, what you didn't see on radar is that contained out here in the Gulf, way beyond the look of radar, with these bright red cloud tops indicating some very cold cloud tops, some very tall cloud tops, are some big thunderstorms and big rains. And those are headed toward parts of the Gulf Coast. Now, I think up around the Big Bend area, that's where you'll see those 10-inch rainfalls a little bit later on today. But even so, around here, we can pick up another additional four to six inches of rain before it's all said and done as we go through the next day or two. 60 mile an hour winds as of the last observation. Northeast wind at about 12. Hurricane Hunter aircraft investigating. We'll have an update on the system as we head into the 11 o'clock hour. North northeast motion now indicating that little bit of a turn off to the northeast. Forecast to become minimal hurricane strength perhaps as it makes landfall on the east side of the storm. That's where the storm surge will be worst, and that's right in that concave section where the water will pile up. But even so, as it moves off over land, it will re-exit out into the Atlantic on Saturday and then move out into open Gulf waters. The forecast for this system keeps the strongest winds offshore, but still, we will have an onshore wind flow, which means rip currents will be an issue across our area. And we could get some gusts, particularly in Anna Maria and Holmes Beach, that come up to near tropical storm force strength. The rest of us will see about a 20, 25 mile an hour wind later today, which will be kind of exciting for a lot of people, I think, but it won't do damage to structures. If you look at some of these wave heights, that's the other thing we will be watching is the time of high tide between 1 and 2 o'clock this afternoon and 1 and 2 o'clock Friday morning for some perhaps some slosh over along area beaches. We could see, you know, some minor coastal flooding in Anna Maria and Holmes Beach because of that little surge effect. Gusty winds this afternoon, small craft advisory, rough seas obviously stay in port. Conditions will improve by the time we get to Saturday. Back to you.